morning guys welcome back to the channel it's half past seven we are on his way to the first yard i have got a mare to see here she's quite flat footed she does go lame i have to uh, put a special pad on her that just helps improve that angle it'll be cool to show you guys and explain how i do that and show you the method that we use to help improve her quality of life and keep her comfortable and sound. We're about 20 minutes off. It's Tuesday, day's first day back at work for us. It's the first day of the week as we shoot Tuesday to Saturday. I'm in a good spirit, what are you doing? I'm in a positive mood today. What did you do the weekend? Uh, nothing, I went to college yesterday though. Yeah, tell them about your yeah, so I had to just do some work on one file, but I hate it. I hate it. But it's fine. We got some done. Yeah, he got his work done. Think of the positives. Helped him catch up. He did. But yeah, guys, I will also get Tom on his karaoke. Because you guys bought it, you asked for it. They asked for it, Tom, you're a good it. singer. So he's going to have to do some karaoke. I'm going to get, are you going to have to do it? I'll drop us some up there. I'm not doing it. It's not happening. <laughs> I also dropped my truck down in below Birmingham, Gloucestershire. I dropped my truck in Gloucestershire yesterday. So the guys at Mocha are going to start work on it. Super excited. Their work is exceptional. I'm really impressed with what they have already done for other people so I, I think that might be ready in like a month like it takes them as long as it takes them I guess as long as it's going to be perfect I don't mind really I've got this trusty little steed, steed to keep going keep shooing and I can't wait for it so when, it, when it's ready guys I'll, I'll uh, definitely just do a video on that and show you around Fantastic. it's going to be a serious piece of kit like serious showing rig we're not far off the yard now so we'll see you guys there i like sheep we've now arrived at the yard we've set up ready to work we've got a lovely horse called halo to do that has the negative palmer angle that i'm gonna <laughs> yeah so she's got the mpa and i'm gonna here she is this is the uh mare we're gonna treat and my lovely client, Rachel. So I've got to put a bit of a special pad on. We did it last time. How did she get on, Rachel? Fine, she's sound now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No lameness whatsoever. She more comfortable with the pad on? Much, much. Yeah. Yeah. And feet still look at a good angle. So we're well, in six weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Six weeks now. Yeah. A lot better. Lost one usually one, unfortunately. But you know, at least the front's just yeah. the one. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to keep the shoes on. In the mud. In the mud. Yeah, uh, we have a lot of mud. I'm sure you guys have heard me moan about that a lot now, and you'll hear a lot of that because there's just a lot of mud. But yeah, let's get caught. I'll tell you what, guys. If I could sum up sum up winter in one picture, look at that. yeah, UK winter, huh? Oh, that is cute, actually. That's a good little trick, that. One more. <laughs> so, this is Panda, also known as Bruce off Matilda. Bruce Bogtrotter or something. Because she used to be a chubby bunny. Uh, and we're moving closer. Uh, Panda's got a pair of fronts on. Uh, yeah, it's real good. Real good horse. Qual qu quality mare. You have to get any closer. Nice clip, nice and yeah. clean. Yeah, you need to trim these bits off, look. No mud. You need to chop these chestnuts off. The ergot, sorry. The, the, the ergot's not chestnut, guys. Save the day. They want nibbling off. Bit of toe chopping off. Make sure you do it back as well, look. These bits here. They won't take it off. Yeah, Tom. Pop yes, job. boss. I'd like to thank the best auntie for my beautiful gloves here, premium. 
she uh, yeah. she let me have them for a good good cause, helping ponies and my hands. And look at him here. He ain't got any on today. I'm going in bare. Big softy. Going in bare. It's a nice t-shirt that. I got a little shirt. Thought I'd make an effort today. He thinks he's a little cowboy now again. Thank you, best auntie, for my gloves. Don't have to get muddy anymore. Such a lovely woman. See, still clean. Six weeks after shoeing, it is a lot better. I'll take this pad off now and we can have a look at it without the pad on. I'll just gently take it off now by nail. And there we go. So that's the pad we had on. And it has got some hoof cushion underneath as well. Just give it a good brush up, clean it up. Right, so straight away we'll put this back on the floor. And you can see the difference now without the pad on. It's quite flat at the, at the heels. Long on the toe. The toe's not really that long, the heels are just quite low. So like when the heels are lower, the toe looks longer. So we've had a good result with these pads. I think I'm a bit poorly, guys. I think I need a day off. Don't I, Sam? No. Need a day off. I'm a bit poorly. <laughs> Had I'm going to use the A35 hoof cushion medium. And this is a little bit uh, harder than the soft, the A25. So it works, the hoof cushion works. The two parts you mix together, you've got part A, part B. And when I mix these two together like that, Which it activates. So it'll set to the right shore. Shore. This is called copper sulfate. And that is like your antifungal. Yeah, now this blue powder in here, I then mix that in to the hoof cushion as it will kill all the fungus and mank stuff under the foot because obviously this is going to then be stuck under that pad between her sole frog and the pad so it's important that we keep that healthy but why do we want to why do you want to absorb shock so it don't why why do we want to do it you don't want you want, don't want too much concussion do we you don't want too much concussion because if you had too much concussion everything inside here is going to uh, basically be taking a battering because when a horse is you think like an animal like this what's this horse like 650 kilos mm. 600 kilos so you've got a lot of weight a lot of mass descending on this like little hoof you know there's a little bone in here and when the horse is working hard let's say it's on hard ground and it's whacking the floor it's quite a violent sort of interaction with the ground and a lot of weight coming down into this little point so the more absorb um, concussion you can absorb, the com more comfortable the, the horse can land and load, and the less wear and tear on your joints, ligaments, bones. You know, if you keep whacking the bones into the ground over time, arthritis, lameness. So over a long period of time, you'll have lo like less longevity from your your horse. That's why it's important that you have. If you're doing a lot of heavy road work or your HPA's out that you get it sorted and corrected. This is setting, yeah. God, you set me off on a rabbit hole there. Yeah, yeah, basically. Let's get this in. Can I go now? Yeah, you can. And we just fill that up like that. And you can see it start to come out the hole there. Good girl, Halo, that's it, good girl. So yeah, HPA is it really important because even though your horse is might be okay right now with the wrong HPA. It's something that can get worse over time and cause chronic lameness. So, when you look at a hoof, the first thing you're gonna see is your frog. 
So this is your frog. These are your clefts. So your clefts are just the side of your frog, basically, in simplest terms. Everything has a role to play in the foot. These are called bars. They act like a, I'd say a scaffold. Imagine scaffolding. They hold something up. So if you took these bars out, your foot would collapse. Um, this is your sole. Your sole's where the horse feels primarily. Plus in your wall here, it's it's non non sensitive. So it's got no no like arteries or anything until you get to your laminae, which is the the second layer of your hoof. Uh, but you got your white line, which is you can't really see it because it's a bit dirty. But it's your your little rim that goes around the hoof. That's where you're nailing to. Where it's where these nails are here. That's where you nail into because it's the safest place to nail on. Because if you nailed on here, you'd have problems. You'd have big problems. But this is safe because in between this, if you've got primary and secondary laminate, and you nail in between, so in between is just it's like fresh air. So you go in, it's just hoof wall, and then this is your central sulcus. That's where you tend to find loads of dirt and everything because people just are scared of picking this bit out because it looks scary to people. They don't know what they're doing. But yeah, that's your foot anatomy for the day. Tom's lessons. Good girl here, love. What's it? Good luck. Nice. nice and gently. Clean clipping. Has set, it's quite soft but sturdy. And it'll keep everything where it should be. I like to hold the leg up like this. Um, so once I put the cushion on the other side, I'll hold the opposite leg up so that she puts all her weight onto it so it can mould perfectly into the right shape it should be. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, you can see there, look. See how we look there? Yeah. It's not in the foot. Right, yeah. I want, like, it's a nice, strong footed horse, so we would definitely take advantage of getting that toe clip nice and in that wall. And that will affect the position of the shoe. Like, it looks a little bit forward, doesn't it? But you can just be a bit shy with that clip. But it's not the same angle, really. You want the toe clip to be the same angle as your hoof wall. But it's a good effort. Trim's nice. So how long have been chewing for you now, Rachel? Uh, about eight years, I think. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think about barrier services? I think I wouldn't have anybody else ever. Do you think I'll look after you well? Yes, you do. You've managed to fix all my weird and wonderful horses. <laughs> Good girl, that's it, good girl. Good girl. I'd say it's quite hard to nail on when it's good like girl. a rodeo. Oh. Sometimes Tom's just not verbal enough. Go talk to him. Make him feel better.
some horses like Pillow, who's quite, who is a thoroughbred, so she's quite got a thin, thin skin, but they don't like to be pulled around. So when I take my shoe off, I'll use my nail pullers to just pull it out nail by nail. And that way I don't pull a leg around and upset her. Just sort of tease it off like that. And then just come straight off. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. King. Come POV with T. Good girl, that's it. Don't mind me. So all these, a shoe like this comes in a specific shape, like an ideal shape, and I can just change it to suit the shape of the horse I'm working on. Like a pre-made, like a blank, and they come in different sizes that I can try on, and then I just put that, sort of, put the horse's hoof shape into the shoe to make it the correct fit. But guys, always wear your PPE. It's a little bit fresh that there, doesn't it? All done. She's finished. We can go back into the field and eat plenty of grass. So, right, let's get on with the next one. Wilbur's next. My favourite horse. Uh, is he going to be a good boy today? Yeah? You sure? So we're going to put a set of shoes on Wilbur. He has heart bar fronts because he is a chronic laminate. And he just needs that extra bit of support to keep him sound. But, you know, he is a little bit tricky to deal with. But hopefully he's going to be a good boy today, isn't he? He was really good last week. Yeah. Yeah, he was good last time, wasn't he? What do you think, Tom? I think... I think Touch me in your dirty hands. God. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. It'll be good. It's all got new clothes. They've been ruined in the mud. Lovely. So this is the hat bar that Wilbur is well wearing that keeps him nice and comfortable. You know, he's got a little bit of mud there. Don't chop my finger off the eyes. What the hell? I'm going to chop my bloody finger off. And as you can see there, this just gives him that bit more ground service. 
service, service, that he can bear weight on. He likes it, keeps him comfy, keeps him sound, keeps his soul off the ground as it is a bit low. Although we have seen a significant improvement in the depth of his soul. We had pads on him for a while and all summer we had pads on him but you know as you know there is a lot of mud around now the fields are soggy don't really need a pad we've got natural earth doing its thing Mother nature. he does it i mean he's doing a bit cross country now are you? yeah he's done cross country again it'll be really soggy though he's done a bit of jumping yeah Fun jumping ride. yeah so he's back fully in work we are probably going to keep the heart bars on forever as they uh, Could I have them? do do a lot of favours for him. You see how that's folded there, like it feels real weak. Look how soft his foot is, like I can actually, you know, move his foot, look. What's he doing? Staring at camera. Yeah. Still that What are you doing? Just chilling. Just chilling. I'm not allowed to see them. Will It's not ideal, wow. Come on. Mm -hmm. Good thing my shoe is nice and warm. There. Try oh, that foot again. Hold that. Come on, lad. Make yourself useful, so. You make yourself useful, so. Ooh, lad. Well, I'll sing it to him, Sam. Oh, boy, Wilbur. Ooh, oh, lad, that's it. This is the first time we're in a treat, Sam. Yeah, who's the boy? Who's the boy? Who's the boy? Good lad, oh. Who is the boy? So we don't really tie Wilbur up, do we? Because he just pulls back and snaps everything, doesn't he? Yeah, so we opt for the more natural approach by just not tying him up. Is it safe for some may say? Mm. You can. No. He doesn't really run away. Mm. If he's going to run away, all he's going to do is eat grass. Yeah. He's a very good boss. God. Make him smile. God. When he wants to be. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes he's really grumpy. I'm never grumpy. Yeah. I'm only joking. Uh, He's an happy soul. Right, there you go, that's Wilbur finished. He's got his new shoes on. He was, a, he was a good boy today, to be fair. Usually, we have to bribe him with a lot, with a lot of treats. But, you know, he was good today. We made some good progression with his behaviour. Halo was really good as well. We put the special pads on her that are helping her stay sound. Everything went pretty smoothly today. Did it all? Yeah. Very smooth. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of mud. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're aiming for 100k by the end of the year. We're nearly there, we're actually 17,000 subs off. So yeah, don't forget to click that subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. And we'll see you in the next one. See ya.